This is the story of a man named Stanley. Yeah. It is about a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big a building nice where he was employee number 427. 427. Employee number 427's job was Ooh. simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on him. Yeah, you push those Orders buttons. came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them. Good job, Gladys. I, I this mean, is what mysterious. employee 427 Whatever. did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul ending, Stanley relished. Oh, they did the not the update that. As though he had been made exactly for this job. Oh. And Stanley was happy. Was this always in the game? Why is the little. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Ooh. No one had showed up to give him instructions. Nobody's or even here. Or even say hi. Yeah, Never what the in fuck? All his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Ooh. Something was very Let's start clearly it. wrong. Shocked, frozen solid. Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Yeah, let's go! All right. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No, <laughs> this couldn't go any way except badly. Oh, that's the so good. Now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. This is so Nothing funny. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break this me. This is the funniest. In here, I can be happy forever. I love that I this, is my, this is my first waited. ending. Hours passed, then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. I, I but the one thing he knew on. for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, yeah. someday, they would arrive. Soon, Eventually. very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Tell me what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Tell me. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Wow. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Probably. All these doors don't work. Yep. Ultra Deluxe Edition is supposed to have some awesome things. I, I don't know what those awesome things are because I've only really watched people play the game. I haven't actually played the game myself. This is the first time for me playing the game. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Let's just get this uh, good ending over with. I want to I want to I want to get to the good ending. Good ending sounds like a good way to start other than like freaking closing the door. <laughs> Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping he might find an answer there. How to solve a dispute with a coworker? Let it ball up inside of you. Take out passive aggressively on other workers. <laughs> I need to read it. Using slides to ensure employees that everything is okay. Make sure the slide has a slick blue graphic in the header and throw some bellow on the next. Uh, God damn it! Everyone is unique. You most of all. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Number of slides, charts, slides, slides, and charts. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> I love this. Rate of increase of graphs per slide. <laughs> Please, no more charts. I'm begging. Stop. The boss appreciated a minute. On your boss appreciated a minute, jerk sheet tough. Uh, spell out the triple pen and form your boss. 
Solving interpersonal conflict. If you ever find yourself in a conflict with another Dijelian employee like yourself, I'm more inclined towards it. Is your kind of personality? Why did we hire you? We're really like stupid. <laughs> Damn it, I can't read it. What are your dreams to <laughs> reach your mitosis? Let's go. <laughs> mitosis is my less air. Comatose? <laughs> Was that comatose? Talk less, don't get fired. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Are you... are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please I want offer to. me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. I I just want to leave my mouse because it actually helps it better for the dialogue. If you just I, if I if I act if I literally look like there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. That's what you I think. I never would have thought to mention it. That's what you think. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend you'll say, <laughs> Oh, did, Did you, you get, get the, the broom, broom closet, closet ending? ending? The broom closet ending was <laughs> my favorite. It is my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. That's hilarious. Wait for Stanley it. was fat and ugly and really, really fat. <laughs> probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all is <laughs> funny. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. hookers. <laughs> this is so funny. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort <laughs> shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby That's right. so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. That's correct. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. <laughs> it's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. All right. Ah, second player, it's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of <laughs> Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can have controls uh, to. A fish? Fungus. fungus. Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Nothing. Okay. I believe there's actually going to be a secret for the bloom closet. I just have to figure it out. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Uh.
Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he it's could not have known there. was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Two eight four five. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, he actually did to kind of input like the correct that. code by sheer luck. Ooh. Amazing. Ooh, he stepped into the newly opened passageway. This is super fancy. No, this is... Okay. Did I just... Okay. Alright. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Oh my god. What gosh. horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? It's actually really cool in person, actually. Ah, uh, it's really cool. Now the oh. monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers, the lives of... Hold on. Okay. So many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Fired. Somebody got fired. <laughs> This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Fired. There are several people that are fired. No. He refused no, to believe it. No, they can't it. be he true. Accept it. I could fly if I wanted to. Control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? I don't know. Had maybe. he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? This is very dizzy. But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Never for again. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Never again. Ah. A 
think I loaded a cutscene. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Ooh. Was it over? I think it is. Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Yeah. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. Let's go. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. Oh my god. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. Yeah. And Stanley was happy. Let's go. Best ending. True ending. Yeah, I beat the game. Literally, just, just beat the game. I just beat the game. I don't think it appears if I'm... All right. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. There's a way to actually get up. I forgot how. There we go. Because you can't jump in this game, but... There it is. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map. Until he heard this narration, he <laughs> realized it was part of the game's design all along. Oh my gosh. He then praised the game for its insightful and great <laughs> commentary into the nature of video game structure. Let's go. Yeah, you and did great. Its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. <laughs> oh, now think about it. Would it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? Oh my How gosh. long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, right? and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not to know <laughs> what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. <laughs> Though if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Well now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. Oh, do I just literally have to press continue? Begin the game again? Yeah. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. Oh. Like, right now. You could have done it just then. 
Uh. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. Uh. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict uh. going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. Uh. So just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. Uh. Uh. There once was a man named Stanley, who people considered so, so manly. But the truth must be told, he was not, not very, very old, old and was quite particularly gangly. <laughs> what Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. I'm looking up because it it's the only place I can look. In a meaningful <laughs> way. But his brain had long ceased to function. You're mean. Which is why he is in this parable. And lives an existence quite, quite terrible. terrible. And if you are not strong and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yeah. You too will become quite unbearable. That was very beautiful. I like this music. Is this gonna loop? I think it's just gonna loop. Disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his bar. Oh no. Oh, no, 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 not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. Stanley happened to input. I want to try something. Hold on. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley oh, decided just to go up away to his room. boss's office. Oh, they just blocked away the room. That's hilarious. The moment he entered his manager's office, Stanley froze in his tracks. Not a living soul anywhere. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator <laughs> talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. Yeah, let's go. What is this? Uh, I've I've watched this a lot, and so feeling it... soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. All right. Never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Oh, uh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? I did. After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go yeah. and you try to take control yeah. of the machine yeah. for yourself. Let's Is go. that what you wanted? Yes. Control. I want control. Yes. Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, oh. turn the controls off, and leave. Oh. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For oh. example, oh. Oh. and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. What? In the event that what? this machine is activated without proper DNA uh, identification, uh, are you kidding nuclear me? detonators are set to explode, what? What? eliminating what? the entire complex. What? What? How long until what? detonation what? What? then? What? Hmm, let's what? say, um, two minutes. Too bad. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? Oh my god! It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. 
Mere moments until the bomb yeah. goes off. But what precious moments each Heck one of them yeah. is. More time to talk about you, about me. Oh, where we're right going. One. Okay, okay. What all this uh, means. I this barely one? know where to start. This one? This one? This one? I'd like to know where your co-workers yeah. are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. Yeah. All right, I'm huh? in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. Huh? I'll tell you exactly what happened to they them. They don't work anymore. I erased oh, no. them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing two. buttons endlessly and then dying two. alone. Two. Other times, two. I let the office sink into the ground, the swallowing two. everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this though, this okay, version okay. of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to Rebel? make sense of everything and take back the control Congrats. wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. Five. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next Three. go around will Three. be even better. What? My goodness, okay. only 34 seconds left. Okay. But yeah. I'm enjoying this so much. Oh. You know what? To hell with it. Oh. I'm going to put some extra oh. time on the oh. clock. Oh. Why not? Oh. Uh, These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Uh, uh, oh dear me, uh, 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 what's the matter, Stanley? Hold on. Is it that hold you have no on. idea where you're going or uh, what you're supposed to be doing right now? Four! Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? Yeah. I mean, look yeah. at you. Running yeah. from button to button, yeah. screen to screen, yeah. clicking on every little thing yeah. in this room. It's not open. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or yeah. this door. Everything, anything, something here will oh. save oh. me. Oh. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have yeah. any idea what That's your boring. purpose in this place is? <laughs> <That's boring. laughs> Stanley. Thank you. You're in for quite a disappointment, but here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds uh, ticking away to uh, death. Are you kidding? You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. Uh, this is not a challenge. No, it's fuck a you. tragedy. You uh, wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first. No, so no, you, you, you know what? You can suck it. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No oh, end wait, here. Wait, Just wait, you being wait, blown to pieces. Wait. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade uh, in uh, until the moment uh, I say, uh, happily uh, ever up. Uh, uh. <laughs> that was fun. And then there's another option downstairs. I'm going to just do that one too. All of it. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah blah blah. Dark secrets. Yeah, the keypads, you you get it. You get oh, it. Hey, look, you get it. You get it. You surprise. You all get it. You get it. You get it. That's what I like. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. You you get it. You get it. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read nope. Mind Control Facility. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. What? What does that mean? What? The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn oh. around and get back on track. Really? Cool. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Yeah, of course. Oh, dude. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, it just got booted As up. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence well. whatsoever. Yeah. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't yeah. know the real story. Trapped there forever no in his narrow story. vision yeah, of what this world story. is. 
What is Perhaps this world? Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like what cutting is this the world? eyeballs from a blind man. Bam. So he resigned and I willingly don't... accepted this yeah. violent end to his yeah. brief and Let's shallow life. Let's accept it. Farewell, Stanley. Bye. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, oh, oh, as what? Stanley was what? led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. Oh. In a single visceral what? instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Ah, oh, man, that's a vicious. Oh. The Stanley Parable. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as yeah. alive as ever. Yeah. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? I know, right? Come on. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, oh. making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? A selection of sounds. This is actually really cool. Uh, I love this ending. This one has like, cause it's literally just like a, a like a little, um, uh, what's it? Not a gallery, but it's like uh, when you can see all the models and all that. It's just, it's really cool. Um, the the one of the coolest ones was the Bioshock uh, one, where it's literally like you could see every single thing. It's just so cool. This is the freedom ending as it existed in beta. I wonder if these are... I wonder if these are actually like... It's like concept art. Early version of the countdown room. That is so cool. Oh. Countdown desk. One of the deaths from the early version of the countdown ending. Ah. Boss's office. Screens of the development of the boss's office. That's so cool. What is this? Kevin writes in the voice and there were recorded dialogue in the entire game roughly three separate times over the two years of development. These clips push the number eight. Then he pushed the number eight. Stanley pushed the big red button. Nothing there. Shoot. Well, try the other one. Then he pushed the number four. <laughs> try this is set up a building. Oh, I just realized Stanley walked over the bridge. I don't have my Nothing arrow. There. Other, so. Shoot. Well, try the other yeah, one. Stanley one. walked over the bridge. Stanley walked over the bridge. I wonder if this is for real. The lounge. If this is actually like the gallery room. If not, uh, that sucks. But, you know. You have to do things comedic, uh, for comedic value. Um, how do I get through? There we go. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Oh. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? Oh, yeah. No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Yeah, sometimes they can't, unfortunately. But listen oh. to me. You can still save those two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. No. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking oh. someone else's path. Oh. Stop now and it'll I never thought of it that way. Choice. No. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't oh. let time oh. choose oh. for you. Don't let Oh. Oh, I actually let time choose for me. 
Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh. But Stanley just couldn't do it. Oh, I don't He considered is. the possibility of facing his boss. No, admitting I he had I left his post it. during work hours. He I might be fired it. for that. And, and in such a competitive verse. economy, why had he taken that risk? Right. All because uh. he believed everyone had vanished. Right. His boss would think he was crazy. Right. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. Yeah, maybe. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a I single wonder. moment for no reason at all. Right. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley uh -huh. pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. Uh -huh. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Oh, I never why thought did about doors that. close automatically behind him wherever I never he went? I never thought about that either. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Right? Were they simply repeating? I no, wonder. Stanley said to himself, this no. is all too strange. This can't no, be real. No, that can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm uh, dreaming! Yes. He yelled. I'm this dreaming. This is all a dream. Uh huh. Oh, what a relief Stanley uh -huh. felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. Uh -huh. His co workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this, this while I'm still lucid. So. He imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Oh. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. Oh, that it is was so, so cool. much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? I know, right? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing that's, and thinking? That's a really weird question. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by right. Stanley, who found it particularly strange. This I'm weird. dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. But what, yeah, and exactly. while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, right. the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. No. How could it be? No, it can't was be. Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? I, Stanley maybe? is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Probably. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. Uh -huh. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Right. Did the voice not see him float and dream. make the magical stars just a moment ago? Yeah. How else would the voice explain all that? Oh my gosh. This voice was a part of himself too, yeah. surely. Surely, Can if he could just... Way? No, I can't go that He way. would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he <laughs> closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. Yeah. The press of the mattress on his back. Yeah. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Yeah. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. Yeah, let me wake up. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Uh -huh. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife. And my job. How a wife? All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. Right. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. Yeah. I am okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Ah, oh. oh, that sucks. Stanley began screaming. Let's keep Please, going. Please, someone wake me up. My uh, name is Stanley. I have a boss. I'm I have an office. Screaming. I am real. Please, I just someone real. tell me I'm real. I must I be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Uh, Who am I? Who am I? Uh, and everything went black. Oh. Whatever happened? This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Oh. Mariella? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. Yeah. She arose, got dressed, uh -huh. gathered her belongings, and oh. walked to her oh. place of work. 
Oh. But on this particular day, her oh. walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself. His and name was Stanley. Dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. Right. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Oh, yeah. Everyone totally knows crazy. what crazy people look like. Yeah. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I know, right? I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. Mm -hmm. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. Okay. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. And the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, the, the rest, rest of, of her life. life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. So she, did she call the cops on me, or or no? Am I still, like, dead? I guess I'm still dead. When Stanley still... came to a set of two open no. doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just yeah. to admire it. I just want to admire it. Ah, <sighs> yes, <laughs> truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth yeah. the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Yeah. Look at that picture. It's a very realistic picture. That's an ocean. Yes. Really, really <laughs> worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, right. here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit down. This is... I'm, I'm crouching and I'm relaxing. At this point, Stanley's yeah. obsession with this room bordered on creepy. Oh, fuck and reflected you. poorly on his overall personality. Fuck you. It's possible that this is why everyone oh, left. Oh, 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 you wanna go there? You wanna go there? Whatevers. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Mm. Be my Valentine. I hate Mondays. Is there actual text on here? Number one, Dad. I wonder. Let's just watch the clock. Oh, it's actually telling. Is that actually telling my time? I don't like that. <laughs> Wait, that's not even my time. That's completely wrong. Is it? Yeah, it is. The heck? But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took right. the first open door on his left to get back to business. Uh-huh. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the no, office. No, I didn't want to go he back. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um... Uh, well, uh, da, 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 da. from here it's um left. Oh, is this? Oh no, no, it's to the right. My mistake. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly. Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Okay. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This oh. is all a spoiler. 
Quick, oh. Stanley, close your eyes. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. No. The whole story completely unusable. No. How about rather than waste my time no. trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. Yeah, let's just and do this that. this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Yeah, okay. let's not do that. From the top. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Wonder. Stanley decided to oh, go to the just, meeting room. Go Perhaps he had this. simply missed a memo. Yeah, that's okay. No, I can't see the line yet. Okay. When Stanley... Wait. Wait, what? <laughs> no, I'm... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Uh, Stanley, uh -huh. did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? No. Did you move the story somewhere or... Uh... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. Right, right, right. It was right here just a minute ago. Right, right, right. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Yeah, somewhere here. Okay, then. It's an adventure. <gasps> Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Where's the music? Oh, wait, I don't think we're playing the music yet. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So it is actually connected just now. Yo! I'll say it. This is the best <laughs> adventure I've ever been on. I we're confused. You, there definitely was we a go. story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? I think we do. Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. Right. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Let's do it. Oh, you can't even close the door. Yeah. It, it wants All you to go All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Right. Oh no, there's no doors! Okay, yep. It's, <laughs> it's worse. worse. It's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. Mm. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Mm -hmm. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Aha! There I we knew we'd miss something. There we the go. The story. Here it comes. Right. No, wait. Never oh. mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Oh my gosh. Now this... Well, I'll be honest. I don't <laughs> recognize this place at all. What is this? Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Yeah. Do you remember, Stanley? I do. Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Yay! Congratulations! Yay! We won! I knew you put in a lot of hard work, <sighs> and it really paid off, so good <sighs> job. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. I don't feel right, right about this right. at all. We it's both good, know you didn't good. put in any actual work I for didn't. that win. No, Some people win fair and square, and this no. was not one of those no, situations. I feel, like it, I feel like it just gave okay. me that one. I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. Right. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. Yeah. <gasps> All right. <gasps> I've got a solution. <gasps> this time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable yes. Adventure Line. Trademark. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Yeah. Let's go. <sighs> you see? The yeah. line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Yeah. Nope. Here's a thought. 
Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Uh -huh. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Please, let's get that music up. Yeah! Cut the music, go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. That's right. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. Yeah. You won't want to miss anything. Yeah. Okay. Oh, do I do I do I keep studying the, the keep studying the fern? No, get the music just doesn't come back. Okay. Wait, what? We're back at the office? Oh no. No. Oh no. No. Oh no. no. Line, oh, no. you do know we're looking for the Stanley parable, right? Yeah. The story? Yeah. Is any of this ringing a bell? I, I don't... Hmm. Okay. 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 We're going to go on a fresh path. And uh-oh. Oh. 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 No, no, oh. no. Not again. Oh. Line, how oh. could you have done this to oh. us? And after we oh. trusted you. After oh. everything oh. we've been they through. They had lied. You... No, I can't Bad take line. this anymore to hell Bad with it. Line. Restart. Bad line. Oh, okay. Don't listen to the line. You know what, Stanley? Uh, I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? I know, right? We're intelligent people, right? We could do our Why own can't thing. we make up our own story? Yeah. Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Let's do Why that. don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Yeah, let's go. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and mm. Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Yeah. Oh, no, not uh. you again. Stanley. I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. Yeah. No lines or monitor rooms. No. Just don't acknowledge it. And we should be fine. Okay. I, I think it's just getting worse. I don't I don't know about this. Okay, it's just going it gets gone to the ceiling, it's gone. It's gone. Ah, a there choice. we go. We get to make a decision. Yeah. From here, the story is in our control. Yes, there we go. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Uh, uh, okay. okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, mm -hmm. which means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to go, mm -hmm. there must be a reverse door that leads here. Yeah. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter inverted reverse door's origin. So right. starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? Let's do that. And since the answer is clearly yes, then yes. by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Let's... Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Ooh, let's go. Uh, oh. oh, hold up, what's this? Oh. Hmm, the confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's uh. all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight times? Oh. That's really how all this goes? Uh. It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what, am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I'd... 
I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the timer to stopped? Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? I don't know. So, okay. Yeah. I guess now we just wait. You know, yeah, we'll, we'll I suppose wait. in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey oh, and no not way. the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. Yeah. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Yeah. Well, in the meantime, if you... Oh. That got me a little bit. 